Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeding uh, regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to um, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of you know, prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that. And uh, what have I got? What have I got? There you go. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. As I always say, guys, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. And uh, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up, on your story, stick around and sometimes there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. Um, and of course, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. So I'm just going to take these in. You might see extra cards just for clarification purposes, but I'm going to take these in and I'll be back. So Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you guys could always switch or flip whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. And of course, feel free to check out your other readings. Uh, we should be pinned in the corner as the, of the screen as we speak. All right. So <clears throat> let's start with your person. Your person is... Okay, so they're, they're sneaking. They're doing some sneaking behind someone's back. And it's coming from a place of them being hurt, though. I want to jump in there and say that. It's also coming from a place, uh, a situation that has caused them a lot of pain. Um, something that they had built. Something where there was emotional fulfillment. But there's no longer that there. And for some reason, they feel like they need to kind of sneak behind this person's back or do it behind the scenes or... And when I say do it, meaning communicate with you, engage with you when it comes to this, um, mm, sorry about that, this uh, connection. Yeah, do something behind the scenes. They feel like they need to do that. Um, you're up in your head, and this was a recent part, so you kind of was up in your head in terms of just this person, this situation. There's a bit of disappointment there because you're wanting to you wanted to advance this, move this forward, move this up a bit. But I feel like something came out which you're aware of. I feel like it's tied to maybe what this person had going on um, outside of this. I do apologize, guys, my throat. <clears throat> yeah, it's something to do with maybe this person and what you found out about maybe this person not being divorced or maybe not being separated, whatever the case may be. Uh, but there's, there's still this level of understanding. There's still this level of understanding, this level of patience that you have because you're wanting to build with this person. You want an opportunity to build with them. Um, and so you're kind of pulling on your strengths, trying to remain strong, a lot of passion, a lot of desire here. But there is this level of patience that you do have as much as you are up in your head, or was up in your head by this. It seems like this person couldn't get you it's like with a page there, it seems like this person couldn't really give you what it is that you wanted or needed or enough. It's like they can't give enough. And that's understandable, especially if they're coming out or they're in something. So that enough could be, you know, time, whatever the case may be. But they are feeling like this is an opportunity for them to create something new. But there's only so much I can put in on this or I'm not getting a lot simply because there's only so much I can give to this at this time. There's a some form of awareness of karma. So for it, this, so if this person is married or anything like that, then there's this awareness of you know I can't really engage too much because of karma, effectively. Yeah, you're still trapped in your head. You're still kind of feeling trapped by this, with the A feeling trapped by this. Um, just constant thinking. Just constant thinking. You know, while you're working, you're thinking, while you're trying to sleep, you're thinking is this, this is at the forefront of your mind currently at the moment, but 
there is this level of need to win. I'm going to say that simply because we've got the five and we've got the six of swords as well. Sorry, the six of wands, which talks about winning, victory, success. There is this need to, and I feel like that could be, okay, so I'm going to kind of take it. It could be coming from a place of, I've given too much of this or I've given, you know, I've, I've invested a lot so I can't back out now. So I've got to, you know, be patient enough for me to get to a point where we're together and we can now engage in X, Y, Z. Uh, it could be coming from that place, but there's definitely this need to come out on top and to win at this, not in a bad way, but, it, you know, it could be, it could, it could, it could, it could be causing some form of hindrance. I say that simply because we've got the eight. You know, thinking like that is keeping you trapped. Thinking you like that. Thinking like that is making you make decisions that maybe you shouldn't be making. Um, thinking like that is maybe giving this person a bit too much leeway and where you shouldn't be. It's that type of thing. It's like thinking like that is causing some form of detriment. Not to say thinking like that is a bad thing, but thinking like that in this situation is causing some form of detriment there. Making you think in a reckless way. And that's becoming from a place of that ace. Love. There's love here. You know, there's love here. So we get it. I get it. You know, you're more, for most, tolerant of certain things. Um, especially if you're not, uh, yeah, especially if you've got certain attachment styles uh, going on there. Causes you to, you know, yeah. Your person is stuck. Yeah, they're just, they're just feeling stuck. For the hangman, they're stuck. They're not able to move. So they can't move fully forward, forward with you because of their situation. And they can't, you know, not to say that they're not wanting to get on top of that because they are. They're wanting to get on top of that. But there's definitely a choice they know they need to make in regards to this, their situation. But they're going to take a risk on that. Something around communication. I'm not sure whether they've communicated with you or they've received some form of communication, but definitely something around communication. They're wanting to take a risk on a choice that they make. And that's around, uh, that that choice has an effect on them losing something. And I feel like it's definitely with these three cards, it's losing this situation. This situation that causes them pain, that they're not happy in, all of that good stuff. Yeah, but they're still going to be going through this, you know, they're still going through this sense of loss, this feeling of loss. Because I feel like at one point this person had something with them. You know, stat this definitely not even, I think. I mean, there you go. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. So this person definitely built something with this person, uh, established something, something that ultimately was emotionally fulfilling at that time. So it's natural for them to go through this feeling of loss, you know, loss of experience, loss of, you know, whatever the case may be. The, the the beautiful thing is, is that there, with that loss, though, there is this feeling of and sense of new journey, new chapter, new adventure with someone that I have an emotional connection with or can have an emotional connection with that I feel is going to bring me peace, that's going to create some form of balance in my life. Like I said, you're destiny, you know, in love, there's, there's love there. Um, so you're still going to be patient or at least willing to be patient, but I don't and I kind of flip back here because this is important. Um, yes, there's love there. Yes, you have the Queen of Cups where you're talking about patience and understanding. But there's certain things that you're not wanting to look at when it comes to yourself. And I feel it goes back to this, you know, need to, it goes back to what I was saying. You know, this need to win, but it's being detrimental to you. You know, if this is, you know, and this is for some of you as well, if this is meant to be, it will be, you know, give this person maybe some time to wrap up their feelings uh, and, and, and you get yourself into a place where, you know, you'll be ready, emotionally ready. I'm not, and the reason why I'm saying that is I'm not really feeling this type of energy here. And that could simply be for some of you, the fact that you know, you're just really in love, you want to lose this person, all that good stuff. <laughs> But yeah, take take it or leave it. it is what it is. So hopefully this has given some form of clarity for those of you who don't know. I do weekly singles and long readings. Um, I will be implementing the part two soon, guys. So just look out for that. 
Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next. Bye.